The cast has been announced, well, to supporters anyway. The teams are arriving at BattleBots ready for the new series, and we now know the first three fight cards for the new series. This is a special report from this week in Robot Combat. Hello and welcome to the show. It's interrupted by holiday. I don't care. It's BattleBots news and it's big BattleBots news. And I vowed that I would do one of these videos for if we had something decent to talk about. And we do. We know the first three fight cards of the new series of BattleBots. Well, just about. The issue was that the uh, the old Wi-Fi dropped out and the broadcast was interrupted for the live stream. So we don't actually know the first fight that they announced hoping that's something BattleBots would rectify, but I want to run through what else we got to know. There is a full list that I'm going to be going through step by step, and we shall find out my opinions, thoughts, and who some of these robots are, because there's a few robots in here that haven't, I don't think, been publicly announced, or at the very least, haven't been shown off. I do have a few bonus images to pop in, so keep watching. What was the nose flick? Let's get on. It took the shortest amount of digging for it, but I finally found out that Duck vs Bombshell will be the first fight that they will record. Also, these may not be the first three fight cards of the season, they're just the first three that are being recorded anyway. This all stems from the Last Chance Rumble last series where a lot of people thought that Duck was robbed of the chance to go through to the round of 16. I personally think that Bombshell won within the rules, but the rules are wrong and need changing, so there. Right, I'm done with Amateur Dramatics. Next up, we have the Four Horsemen versus Lucky versus Double Jeopardy. This is going to be an interesting fight. Double Jeopardy, now with two shots, has the opportunity to attack more than once. Um, they also have a wedge this series. It could be a good fight. Next is a battle of who's more green, Kraken versus Ribot. Now, Ribot is one robot with many different weapons, a Swiss army bot, if you will. Uh, this could be a good fight. I think Kraken might pierce the top of Ribot, so uh, I'm going to go Kraken's way for that one. Now, apparently, this fight will be a main event internationally, but in the US, it will just be an average fight. It's Sawblaze versus Rotator. The new Sawblaze might do some damage to the top of Rotator, Rotator with quite exposed wheels, but at the end of the day, I think Rotator might just chop off the uh, the old arm, so Rotator. Next, it's Team UK versus Team USA in Cobalt versus Captain Shredderator. I'm loving the look of new Cobalt following the Carbide paint scheme. Obviously, it is from Team Carbide and looks like Tungsten from this is fighting robots and also Captain Shredderator is here if you hadn't guessed I want Cobalt to win. Why? Because. Okay, moving on. We have Endgame from New Zealand going up against Death Roll from Australia. I love the BattleBots producers for doing this. This is such a good fight. Uh, two vertical spinners, this could be close. Death Roll more resembling Great White from King of Bots. Um, I think it's probably going to go to Endgame this one though. I'm not ruling out Death Roll, it's going to be close. It's another UK versus USA one, this. We have Quantum versus Blacksmith. I love Quantum because it's basically Spectre from King of Bots. I was expecting them to do something different, but why would they? Also, so natural, that metal work. It's really nice. Uh, and then there's Blacksmith, which also looks awesome, and I'm really looking forward to getting the toy. I love Blacksmith, but I think Quantum might take it. Now, there ain't no main event like a Tombstone main event, as S Club 7 didn't sing. Yes, Tombstone will be going up against Lockjaw in the first main event of filming. That's going to be a tough fight. Um, I think Lockjaw may not come out of it in one bit. Um, could be a good fight, but Tombstone surely has to dominate this one. Surely. Although with that rear wedge thing, maybe. Okay, on to filming block two. We have Son of Waiachi going up against Huge. Yes, Huge. Bye, Huge. Next, we have the really cool looking Texas Twister built by Fuzzy Molden going up against Black Dragon. Who made it? Yay, well done. Um, test footage of 
Texas Twister is varied. Uh, Black Dragon I don't know anything about, but uh, with the wheels the way they are in this picture, I'm not sure they're going to survive. So let's go with Texas Twister in this one. I'd love for Black Dragon though to cause an upset or something, that'd be great. It's then rumble time as Marvin takes on Gruff the Mighty Dragon and Gemini. So four bots entering, three of which are spinners. And I think Gruff might do quite well here, actually. It depends how well uh, Marvin's built and uh, what I think of the new Gemini bots, which is they're basically the same as last time, just more pointy in places. They could do well, but I think probably either Gruff or Marvin. Witchity Witch Doctor will then take on Shatter. This is going to be an interesting fight between Axe and Vertical Spinner. Um, I think potentially Shatter because it has Omni Wheels, which means it can move in any direction at any time, supposedly. Um, yeah, I really like Shatter and I prefer it over Witch Doctor and the Axe is powerful, so Shatter for me. Everyone called for Mammoth vs Nelly. We got Mammoth vs Axe backwards. I'm hoping for Mammoth vs Nelly later in the series still. Yes, um, this is going to be a really difficult fight, I think, for both robots. I don't think Axe Backwards can do all that much to Mammoth. Maybe just flick it up and turn it over, so I'm going to give them the advantage here. The really nice looking new version of Sub-Zero, which this photo doesn't show it complete, is then going up against Wan Hu from China. Um, this is probably Sub-Zero's fight to lose. Um, I can't see one who doing all that much to them unless they're superb drivers and get round to the wheels, which is always possible. Two big body spinners will go up against each other in Gigabyte versus Kronos. Gigabyte um, is probably better this series than it was last series, we would hope. Um, Kronos I don't know that much about. I know that they've fought um, in China. I haven't actually seen them fight in China, so uh, it could go either way, maybe? Probably megabyte, gigabyte, terabyte. What is it? It's time for tonight's main event. I don't know what that voice was. It's Minotaur versus Whiplash. I'm really looking forward to this fight. It's going to be awesome. Um, I think that both of these teams have superb drivers. It could go either way. I would have to go for Minotaur as favourites just because uh, they're magnetic towards wheels and Whiplash has four big ones, so... Moving on to block three of filming, we start with Hypershock versus Valkyrie. Hypershock doesn't have these forks on the front anymore. Um, instead, they've got sort of a Witch Doctor style front end with a big plow type thing, which could be a really good defense mechanism against Valkyrie. Uh, Valkyrie improved, Undercutter could get round to the wheels quite easily. Don't know whether it'll do much damage though. Apparently a matchup that the BattleBots crew we're looking forward to doing is Breaker Box from Team Nightmare going up against Falcon from Team uh, Waiachi. Uh, these two probably fought on the live scene in America quite a bit, so looking forward to seeing them on TV. I don't know whether they fought on the live scene, I'm guessing. I'll say Breaker Box wins if it goes wedge. It's the rumble for this episode. We have Jasper versus Uppercut versus Tantrum. Now, I'll talk about Tantrum in a minute. Jasper, really nice looking Hammerbot. Uh, uppercut, I'm not too sure about. Looks quite suspect weapon-wise, wheel-wise, everything-wise. Um, and, and again, it looks really nice though. Um, and Tantrum, I think, is going to win this fight with their new punching device, which is a vertical spinner mounted onto like a retractable thing that shoots forwards and hits the other robot. It just sounds awesome. When Tim Rackers left Monsoon to go and fight with Ragnarok, we wanted to see Monsoon versus Ragnarok, and we're getting it! Thank you, BattleBots. Thank you so much. Big Axe versus Big Vertical Spinner. Decent plow, but I think Monsoon probably has this one, although Tim Rackers does know all the weak spots for Monsoon. Could be close. It's Battle of the Birds. Warhawk is going up against Petunia. I'm assuming that Petunia is a bird. It looks like a bird. Um, I think that Warhawk has this fight. Petunia keeps getting put up against vertical spinners and they are not suited to vertical spinners. Stop it, BattleBots. Stop it. It's not fair. No longer a saw Scorpios with a spinner that comes overhead like Vulture from Robot Wars Series 10 is going up against Copperhead, which is the I'm no longer green version of Poison Arrow. I love this robot. 
It's beautiful, but I think this fight is going to be incredibly close. They are very well suited. Well done, BattleBots. I'm going with Copperhead, though. I'm going to have to assume that Free Shipping are entering with a massive, great, fort, lifty, big JCB-style thing. Um, they're going up against Hydra, which is a brand new robot from Team Waiachi. Um, Airmail, apparently, is the joke with this one because Hydra's a flipper, so I'm going free shipping. Lastly, we have Bite Force, the current defending champion, going up against Yeti, or Yeti, depending on how well its drum is working. Um, this could be a close fight, but I think it will sort of mirror what we saw with Bite Force versus Hypershock last series, so I'm going Bite Force. I forgot to film an outro last night, so it's the morning and I'm wearing different clothes, so deal with it. Anyway, continuity doesn't matter. Thank you for watching this. That is all that they have announced for now. Um, I believe BattleBot supporters are going to find out more fight cards. I won't be covering them until they are made public knowledge, so uh, be aware of that. No spoilers in the comments, please. Only stuff that has been officially announced. Uh, don't ask who is confirmed to be in or who isn't. Uh, I'm not going to be telling you, and nobody should be anyway. Uh, that's it from me. So thank you for watching. I shall see you for the news as usual on Sunday, and uh, goodbye.